Guys, we are nearing the end of October. Spooky season has come and gone so quickly, but that doesn't mean that the cozy games are going with it. Hey guys, Ramen King here, and today I've got five new game releases that will fill your comfy and cozy bowls to keep you warm for this coming November. Let's check out number one, Farmagia, developed by Marvelous, known for their farming games like Rune Factory and Story of Seasons, as well as Hiromashima, who's known for creating manga Zatch Bell and Fairy Tale, releasing on November 1st. Join Ten and his friends as they go up against the oppressive Oracion Seis in order to save the people of Felicidad. This game features a cross-genre of monster taming and farming, with a wide variety of monsters to grow in a garden to create your own monster army that can train and level up to fight by your side. You can even fuse your army of smaller monsters to create an even larger monster and do crazy amounts of damage to the enemy. I've been really excited for this one for a while, and I even made a trailer gameplay analysis video a couple months back that you guys can check out. Number 2, Coffee Please by developer Nepix, releasing on November 2nd. Credits for finding this particular game goes to Ellie of the Cozy Gaming Club. Make sure to give her a follow right here on YouTube, as she has a really good knack for finding some hidden gems. As somebody who loves coffee and cafe management sims, this game definitely caught my eye as it looks really chill and super laid back. You'll be operating, managing, and upgrading the equipment in your own coffee shop, setting your own prices for different foods and drinks, serving customers, and decorating however you'd like, with different kinds of tables, chairs, and plants. The game will feature a relaxing and challenging mode, with the challenging mode testing your barista skills by actually having to memorize customer orders as you take them. But if you're not looking for a sweaty and challenging experience, you can select the relaxing mode instead. This game seems like it goes pretty in depth with certain things like drink size, food portions, and even going so far as to what kinds of bills and change to give back to the customer. I definitely think that Coffee Please will provide a pretty unique cafe management experience. Next on the list is Everhome by developer Chunky Loaf, releasing on November 11th. Lily is searching for her missing sister, Melanie, and comes to find a mysterious portal that teleports her to the cozy island town of Everhome, where people seem to oddly recognize her at every turn. You'll be learning how to farm, take care of animals, and build relationships. Don't get too cozy yet, as you'll also find yourself diving into procedurally generated dungeons, using weapons and spells to bring rare items back topside. The art and animations in this game look so clean and absolutely charming, and is bound to capture the eye of pixel art lovers out there. I think Everhome will not only give gamers a cozy experience, but also a break from the cozy and will provide a more challenging one as well. And I think you'll find a similar experience with Luma Island at number 4, developed by Feel Free Games with a release date of November 20th. Welcome to Luma Island, where you'll be living and building a new life. Outside the typical farming routine, you'll also be able to take up different professions like cooking things up as a chef, boozing it up as a brewer, or playing Indiana Jones and diving into dungeons for relics to repair as an archaeologist. The game also features dungeoning, where you'll be able to find treasure and fight enemies, including spiders. But for you arachnophobes out there, they did implement a new mode to keep things comfortable for you guys. This game will also feature a multiplayer up to four players. As somebody who loves four player dungeoning games where each player can have specific professions to benefit the party, similar to something like Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, I'm really excited for the full release of this game. Luma Island also has very attractive graphics, where it's kind of a cross between voxel and pixel art, and I'm not quite sure what to call it, but I think it looks fantastic. And that leaves the final game on the list at number 5, Critter Cafe, developed by Sumo Digital, releasing on November 26th. Judging from the name, I think it's safe to say you'll be running some sort of monster restaurant? Animal dessert shop? Hmm, just kidding. On Goldie File, you'll be running your very own Critter Cafe. Upon moving in, it might not look like much at first, but with a little love, you'll be able to build up a cafe to your style and tastes. You'll be able to change the walls, floor, and put in different kinds of furniture. But what's a Critter Cafe without critters? You'll be seeking out rifts to travel to other worlds, solving puzzles, and searching for little critter friends to save and bring back with you to help at your cafe. This looks like a really cute one for gamers who like chibi anime aesthetics and like being able to really deck out and personalize their shops. And that brings us to the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed this list, make sure to drop me a subscribe for more cozy game videos like this. 
click that thumbs up button, and let me know down in the comments below about any games that you're excited for for this November. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you all in the next video.